I feel so bad on my mum when she's not got a lot of money left because I know that she needs that money to budget us, but then I'm hungry at the same time, so I'll just be like rooting through the cupboard, seeing what quick easy meal I could make. We live in the fifth richest economy in the world, and yet today, 3.7 million children in the UK live in households for whom a healthy diet is unaffordable. Food poverty means you don't always have enough money to buy food, or you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Food poverty means you can't afford a healthy diet. Food poverty may mean your day-to-day -day experience of food is the chip shop or fast food options because that's all you can afford. But what does that feel like and how does it affect young people today? What do they think about the food environment they're growing up in and do they want it to change? What's so fantastic about this inquiry is that it's absolutely gone to grassroots level all around the country, really actually sitting and having conversations with young people about what it is like to go to school hungry, how it makes you feel. I think everyone will say, obviously, I've been hungry, but they never, some people don't know the times where you actually are hungry to the point where you can't concentrate in your lessons or even just sit there at home without your stomach being like, oh, and just wanting like even a slice of toast or a biscuit or something like that and not being able to go downstairs and get it. I felt it's time to be different being on preschool meals because all my friends get like, loads of food and then I can only get a certain amount. Um, and I know quite a few people don't like being on preschool meals and then they think that people won't, be, won't want to be friends with them so they try and hide it. When my mum got a universal tax credits renewed, but wasn't able to like buy any food or anything. We didn't get no money for school or anything, and um, we had to borrow a lot. She had to get in debt. It's not like about being poor or homeless. I think that's the most thing that annoys when people say, "Oh, it's when you're homeless." Because I've always had a house, and I still had times where mum and dad have had to go to my grandma and granddad's and get some stuff out of the freezer. Like the school goes empty when it comes to lunchtime because we're all outside. We've got Greg's, we've got a bookies, we've got a subway and just over here we've got McDonald's and as you can see behind is a college and just down like five minutes down the road you've got another school so you've got a secondary school and a primary school. If there was less of them I feel like we would be a lot more healthier, I feel like we would be more inclined to stay in school and eat school meals instead of going to McDonald's. At school, we do not at all get enough money for the full day. Your confidence goes straight down. You feel like you need to press down on your stomach because you're hungry. You feel like you don't want anyone else to know because you feel like, well, what they're going to think of me. We call it holiday hunger when we don't have food during the holidays or weekends. So the six week holidays is quite a big holiday to not have like concert dinners like you do at school during the week. We started very simply with cheese toasties and we had one lad in particular that went can we cook some real meals and he didn't say any more but it was behind it was this is the only place I'm really eating. If you want free school meals you have to say your name and in year nine I was like no I'll just wait wait till no one's in the queue and then I'll go get my food but then by the time I go to get my food there's nothing good left. We pride ourselves, wrongly at the minute actually, upon having a just and compassionate society. That's a misnomer at the moment, but we could get back there, and we will. And the young generation will be the people to help us because they're just so fed up with it. The Children Future Food Inquiry has spent the last 12 months listening to young people, helping them use their voices and be heard. The inquiry has worked with 400 young people in workshops and on creative projects. We have listened to their lived experiences of food poverty and helped them find ways of telling their stories. They've created films, used social media and held events in their schools. We have also gathered evidence from teachers, youth workers, GPs and community groups about the real situation. The young people went to talk directly to politicians in all four nations. They took their views right to the heart of the government to demand that change comes and politicians act urgently to make sure that every child in the UK is fed. It's time to act. It's time this country gave every child the right to food. So important to actually speak to the young people and hear their voices. This is really unique and groundbreaking and that is what is going to make this all the more powerful. Whenever I was giving my own opinion, everyone listened and it made me feel valued, like I was important. 
It's not right that children are held back by poor diets and hunger. Our charter tells you how you can change this and help us unlock our potential. One, the healthy lunch guarantee. It's right that all children have a healthy lunch. When we're in school or nursery, term time or holidays, especially if times are tough at home. Two, the healthy food minimum. It's right that our parents are supported to put healthy food on the table. Three, the children's food watchdog. It's right that we have a say in what we eat. We think there needs to be a new, independent children's food watchdog with young people involved in the leadership to monitor and improve our food. Four, health before profits. It's right that children's health come before the profits of big business. Five, stop the stigma. We shouldn't be made to feel ashamed. In a decent society, no one should be embarrassed about not having enough money to afford food. My message for the politicians is why aren't you actually helping us? Like, do you not understand? You must not understand how being hungry feels. We want to help you, we want to feed them, so why aren't we doing it? So, the right to food, bottom line, let's get on with it. Every child has a right to food. The right to food. Right to food. Right to food. The right to food. I have the right to food. I have the right to food. I have the right to food. Right to food!